Hey fellow tennis nerds, this is the Angel Custom TC97-1820 racket review. This is one of the most popular rackets in the Angel lineup. Uh, it's part of the Angel Custom program where you can choose your own specs, such as the length of the racket, the stiffness and a lot of other things. What I opted for was the 320 gram 10 points headlight for my Angel Custom TC97. I went for the tighter string pattern with 1820. You can also choose 1619. So you have a lot of choice there. If you check out Angel Custom program, they create rackets that are quite comfortable, a bit old school feel. If you don't know the background of Angel Tennis, it's the brand from Paul Angel, who worked for Dunlop Tennis, one of their key guys behind their success uh, with some of their iconic rackets. So he does know what he's doing, and that's why Angel Tennis is doing pretty well right now, and they create a lot of really nice rackets. I rarely comment on racket cosmetics because it's such a personal thing, but I think this uh, V3, the version 3 of the Angel Custom program with the copper and the black might be the most attractive paint job on the market right now for me personally. Materials and build quality when it comes to Angel rackets are usually very high, uh, not something you have to worry about. Sometimes with smaller brands you can worry a bit about it for a good reason. They have to work with a bit of a tighter margin and skimp a little bit on the quality of their frames. But the Angel Tennis offer really high quality rackets. The specs, the standard specs, if you're uh, ordering a TC97 Custom, is that it comes in 97 inch head size. The Custom program also offers you to buy a 90 square inch head size and up to 105 square inch head size. So this is quite a wide range to choose from. This one comes to 97 with a pre-built stiffness of 66 RA, which is very similar to an IG Prestige MP or a Wilson Ultra Tour. It ends up at 63 RA strong, so pretty comfortable, uh, not stiff, but not like a noodle either. So I think that's a pretty solid and good uh, stiffness rating to work from when you work with player rackets. 20 millimeter tapered beam, that means it's um, not a powerhouse, uh, offers pretty good feel, comes through the air quite quickly. It has a new throat box section design, that's the sign in the throat. The grommets, everything else is pretty much standard from the Angel. What really stands out if you compare it to a lot of modern rackets these days is the, the foam core and that means that the racket is foam filled which creates a more stable and solid feeling and that's a matter of um, personal taste obviously but some people are really longing for the foam filled rackets head used to produce them but if you're nostalgic and you like a foam filled racket you can just check out Angel custom frames because they are and they play very stable and solid. When you customize your specs, you can go to uh, from standard length, 27 inches to up to 28 inches. You can go from 290 grams and 33.5 centimeter balance to a 330 grams and 30.5 centimeter balance. So wide range of specs, also different grip shapes, rectangular head style, which is the A shape, to an even sided Prince shape, uh, which is the C shape. The B shape, which I chose, is the Wilson shape, what I'm most used to, although I can play with all of these shapes after all these racket testing. So the tight and control pattern um, still offers decent amount of spin. It's not as tight as an 18, 20, 95 square inch racket, so I think it works pretty well. I strung it up with Kirschbaum Pro Line 2, which is a great soft poly with good tension maintenance and control, one of my favorite polys in the market. I think the string in the racket paired really well. I had comfort and control on pretty much all my strokes. Obviously the spec I got is a bit more for advanced players at 320 grams unstrung. With an overgrip and strings it gets to around 340 which is my comfort level but might not be everyone's cup of tea. But as I said you can choose down to 290 grams so it's a little bit up to you to know what specs work well for you. My recommendation would be to go a bit lower and then build it up towards uh, more maybe weight and stability if you want to with lead tape. So, But this spec made the racket stable at the net. Also on picking up deep shots from near the baseline, I try to stand really close to the baseline with my game, kind of like uh, Andrew Agassi used to play. This racket also offered a nice pop on serves. Uh, it's not as much power as many 
any larger head sized rackets, of course, but the precision was there. It was easy to um, swing the racket through to contact. And I felt this racket did pretty much everything well. It would fit a lot of advanced players, intermediate to advanced players. Very difficult to find any flaws with this racket. It doesn't have the obvious room for error like oversized rackets, but offers more control. And with decent technique and footwork, you should really be able to appreciate this stick. The feel of a tennis racket obviously is uh, subjective. Some people like a crisp response with more power being transferred to the ball. Uh, others prefer a more like noodle-like feel when you really feel the ball sink into the string bed. I think this is kind of a balanced racket. You do have that cupping effect of the ball, although it's not as pronounced with, as with a Head Pro Tour 630 or some other more noodly rackets. So it plays similar to an Ultra Tour or an IG Prestige MP, two great rackets. And the benefit here is that you're able to choose your own specs, which is kind of hard to beat. I would say it's a racket for players with solid technique and footwork. It offers good stability, although it's, a not, it's not a stiff frame. The cosmetics are top of the line, really fantastic cosmetics, nice durable paint job. Uh, it's not the most forgiving for beginners to intermediate, so this is definitely on the scale of intermediate to advanced. Big plus, obviously, that you can choose your own specs here, so you can play around and find the kind of uh, spec that fits your game. This stick, for me, was really effective on slice shots. I felt really at home slicing the ball. Uh, it's not a spin monster with the 1820, but it offers enough spin and more spin than some 1820 patterns. Enough that I wouldn't go for the 1619 in my uh, case. Uh, although there is a 1619 if you if you really want to get a bit more launch on the ball. So that's pretty much it. Great player's frame. Really enjoyed it from all areas. Really like Angel Tennis. I think they create some really excellent rackets for a pretty good price and you can choose your own specs. Very impressed by their offering and that's why I like to review their rackets. So I hope you like them and I hope you like this review as well. Please also check out Tennis Nerd on our other channels such as Patreon, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. For only two bucks a month, you can get VIP content every week. Reviews that are not released uh, on Tennis Nerd or anywhere else, uh, you will get pre-access to videos and other reviews and more so I hope you think that's worth the two bucks a month that you might need to spend so please consider giving your support at patreon.com slash tennis nerd that's all for this review it's time for me to head out to the court and play some tennis and I hope the same goes for you have a lovely day everyone and see you soon
Yeah.